How's it going, everyone? Gsmith64 here, and we are here with The Walking Dead, the final season. Now, before we even hop into episode one here, I just want to say a couple things. First off, before you watch my playthrough, or even while you're watching my playthrough, after you watch this episode even, I don't really care, just go to my buddy's channel, Bobby Lashton, and uh, go watch his shit. Because his shit. All right, you know what? Fucking just. Oh no. Exit the game. Fucking. Can make it a little brighter so that way you guys can see shit as well. So I don't have to go back and post to edit all that shit. But anyways, go watch his fucking shit. Do it. Like my man. Started walking. I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Lee protected other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. And, uh... I wanted Lee to get that poor, so sorry, Doug. Just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. And you know what the fucked up part is? I remember what I did back when this originally came out. I still fucking took her with me. Lee showed her kindness, but she took advantage of it later. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Oh, God. All the emotions of the very first season are coming back to me, man. Stay away from the cities, though. Stay away from the cities. They're just not worth the risk. There's one thing you got to take away from this is stay away you from the cities. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. <sighs> no. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met you another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. Yeah, and uh, Jane fucking earned it. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done. I mean, so originally, when I played through chapter, when I played through this, I always thought Jane was a stuck-up bitch. I still think this, and so I still stick with Kenny. We were better together. For AJ's sake, but like everything else, it wouldn't last. Yep, yeah, because then you crashed the car Jane and you... I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. And I fought for him. I fought back, but I wasn't strong enough. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have, and I'll protect him with my life. 
just like we did for me. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying in the beginning, go watch my buddy Bobby Lashton, because I know for a fact we're not going to have the same playthrough here. We are going to have very diverse, different stories. Just from watching his first episode, I already can tell we're... Like, I watched a little bit of it. I didn't want to spoil myself, but I already could tell some of the decisions he made are going to be very different from the ones I make. So, it's going to be very different stories, I imagine. So, if you want the tale of two stories, by all means, go watch his. And then also watch mine. Now, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. But yeah, all with all that out of the fucking way, let's let's continue with the fucking game. Brother. Speed limit 30. You gotta go 30, buddy. That's the speed limit. Fuck's wrong with you. You're going like a mile. You're not even going a mile. Speed limit's 30, bitch. Whoa! You're speeding! How fucking dare you? Whoa! I mean, my buddy Mikael said these graphics were clean and crisp, but my god. That's a gun. What you doing there, goofball? Playing with a fucking gun. Pretending we got bullets. Oh, that's. Don't. It's getting on my nerves. Rude. I don't like goofball. What the fuck's wrong with goofball? I'm too big for it. Oh, well, someone's a big man now. Well, fine. Grown up now. Yep. <laughs> you cock. <laughs> you fucking cocky you little shit. Facts. Cause the last time a kid drove a uh, fucking uh. <laughs> What's wrong? AJ. Someone died. Hungry. Say, well, Kenny teaching Clem to drive. Clem crashed the fucking car and literally got Kenny killed. What the fuck? Nah, he's still a kid. Don't give him a fucking magazine. Give him a toy. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. Oh, man. My feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. Well, damn. Sassy. That didn't work. All right. Now, give him the magazine. Practice your reading. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, <sighs> never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Why the fuck would you carry a food magazine? Give him the fucking snacks. Here you go. About all we got. Yeah, give them them nice, cold crisps. No, it's not really crisps. Those are chips. Get the fuck out of here. We're not in the UK. I believe you. That's a lot of faith you got in me, kid. God damn, their eyes are really fucking popping out of that shit, though. Like, god damn. God damn. Their eyes are fucking popping. Them grasp it. Them graspics? Them graphics. Crispy. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, brother? Hell yeah, brother. Snap into a Slim Jim. That's not the red voice. It should be more like this. Oh yeah. Snap into a Slim Jim, brother. There we go. That's the right voice. Train track. What's inside? Shall we find out? We gonna do it? Yeah, we are. I think so. Looks clear. 
Mm, that car is kind of crisp. Lots of things. Lots of things are crisp. <laughs> Damn. Old boy got a nice solid knife there. Friendly ring bell. It's not trespassing. What we got in the trunk? Why are we keeping toys in the trunk? Grab the canteen. In case we can fill it. We need water too. You haven't had clean water in days. And then grab this motherfucking crowbar to beat a bitch with. How the fuck? Okay, I was about to say, where the how the fuck did that fit in the goddamn bag? Where'd it go? What? Where'd it go? Where the fuck did my crowbar just go? All right. Let's find some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. I mean, if we ring the bell, that's going to alert zombies. But at the same time, if we get caught, yeah, we're going to ring the bell. What are you doing? Yeah, they're dead. Because there's a zombie in there. I got this, brother. Can I ring the bell again? Oh, I wanted to ring it again to fucking alert the thing to come closer to me so I could stab it in the fucking face. The fuck was that? There's something moving around out there. I, I hear it. All right, now let's let's get this motherfucking zombie. AJ, stay back. Watch and learn, kid. Nah, of course go for the kill. The fuck? Why would we stun it? It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Good. Good. Next, we get in there. We always check for bites, kid. Always check for bites. You got anything on your body? Ooh, hold right bumper to run. Don't mind if I fucking do. Nothing over here. What, you interested in the swing? Oh, fuck it, we got time. You want to swing, brother? Monster trap? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun, you get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I want to try. All right. After we clear this place. Of course, brother. You fucking got it, kid. That's just a fucking deer skull. I'm going to take it. Yeah, I can actually. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I didn't actually take the deer skull, or did I? did I take it? Nope, I've collected it. Possible hood ornament. Excuse me. Excuse me. Say what now? Open the door. Of course, it's fucking locked. All right. Well, clearly there's no zombies. Because those... Or clearly there's no living people. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. Yeah. Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? Find a way, a way out. out. Yeah. That's right. Always know where your exits are. AJ is always listening. Fuck. I shouldn't say fuck. There's a kid listening to me. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Hmm. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? Hmm. 
No, they can't. Hmm. Okay, there's a bottle. Front door is the only way out. Your choice is to determine what he will become. This one's locked. See? Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I Gotta am find too. find a key. We'll find something. I promise. Alright, if you can't pry it open, you gotta find a key. Bet one of those motherfuckers has it. Would be a good first guess. Ooh, what's that over there? They ate well. For their last meal. Damn. Alright. Inspect the jar. Beans! Homemade. Might be more where this came from. Got a jar of beans. At least it's a start. We got some food. Let's see, is this water fountain still working? Well, wouldn't be that easy, would it? Check the bathroom. Didn't see any food out there. Is that not the bathroom? Can't see anything over here. Nope. Look at the walker couple. Yeah, I saw the shiny. This opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. Alright. We got a note. Let's read this shit. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. And then we got this. Poison. Did they give up? They yep. wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. No, don't say we'll see. Say maybe someday. I mean, they literally duct taped their hands together. Who tied them up, actually? Do we get the key? How the fuck did they tie themselves Ooh, up? It's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. Yeah. That's now right. you're learning. Something over there. Can I not go behind that? Okay, that's just off limits. Check on AJ. How you doing, kid? Ah, oh, you hungry. I got some beans for you. Can I not give him the beans? Guess I can't give him the beans. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. The key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in here. Then I'm not sending you in. We should kill the monsters. I agree. They're not people. Uh, facts. Well, they used to be people. And as people... They ask to be left alone. They own to be left alone to so die, what's though. Best. Well, we kill him. I'll get the key. See, because there's people that ask to be left alone, but that just means they wanted to die together. Well, they're dead together, so we're fine. All right. Why? Why would you stab underneath? That's horribly inefficient. Stab it in the face. Also, what happened to her eye? Jesus. I'm surprised my knife is that clean. Sorry, it had to go this way. I mean, in fairness, they've obviously been there for at least a good amount of time. Because... Those bodies were decomposed as shit. Alright. Kids happy at least. Always a good sign. Huh. We had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. Oh. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. 
Not a lot of people left, kid. It's always just monsters. <sighs> Shit. There aren't that many people left, kiddo. That's sad. How many did there used to be? Hmm. So many. But they had their own problems, kid. A lot more problems than we had. Got two bullets. Just a few. Remember what we said? Always save one for yourself, kid. Yeah, save the last bullet for yourself. Save the last, save the last bullet for myself. Yeah. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. I mean, we already got the beans. Beans not good enough, kid? Shit. Well, yeah, that can's dead as shit. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. You're long gone. Well, don't worry, we got the beans. Wait! Watch your swears, damn it! Swears. I meant shoot. Watch your fucking mouth. Okay. Well, let's ex ex check that in a second. Because it obviously wants me to check that. How you doing now, bud? You good? Uh huh. Oh, he's mad just at me. Hungry. Okay, well, regular he's not mad at me. Tumbly. <laughs> no, just regular hungry. Good. Cheered him up a little bit. Anything on this counter over here? Nope. That's all expired. Move the mattress. Look at the crib. It's probably why they gave up. No, no, we didn't. It might be why they gave up. Why is? Eh, why did that sound so Something bad? Something under here. Give it a quick push. Floor door. Huh. Yeah. They must have wanted to hide something. Wait. What if there's a zombie? Wait, wait. Oh, shit. There was a rope. Was... There's a grenade. There is a fucking That's grenade. Stuff. Yeah, it is. We need to move. For weeks with this nope, much. we need to move. There is a grenade. Where the fuck did they get a grenade? A it's military right. grenade. Oh, shit. <laughs> we need to move. We gotta go. AJ. We gotta go. Time to go. Yep. Time to leave. Lost. Time to leave. Fuck. Yeah, and we're dead. Solid. Well, great place to end the first episode. See you in the next one. If you like this content, new to the channel, hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you really like this content so far, us fucking dying, for example, uh, uh, subscribe to my Patreon or buy me a coffee, both in the description below. And don't forget to check out Bobby's playthrough of this as well, because. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very different. Because while I swear like a sailor, uh, I told the kid not to swear. He also swears like a sailor, and I have a feeling he would tell the kid to say, fuck it, go ahead and keep swearing. So, yeah. See you in the next part.